right, we'll go to the last section um, on this demonstration. All right, so quickly just going to uh, basically uh, show you just some uh, just some really quick final things, uh, some final touch-ups uh, that I'm going to do for the scene. Um, one of the things that I was uh, trying out was uh, just adding a little bit more a little more uh, color color correction to the actual image um, and what I did was just play around with a little bit of four color gradient that um, I used as an effect on the master rendering and also on the uh, particles um, so I'm just going to turn these off real quick and show you what I did for the four color gradient uh, that I added on the, uh, the master rendering um, so messing around with the color a bit again, just to get a little bit more blues. Um, and I know I had like a little uh, color variation going on, um, but I wasn't really happy with that. So I actually went back and changed a little bit of the uh, four color gradients, four color gradient uh, effect that was on there. And I'm also playing around a little bit of the with the. Um, uh, shadow blue balance of the uh, color balance that we added on here um, and just pull out a little more blue um, for the for the actual master rendering um, one of the other things that um, I just wanted to make sure was I also added a four color gradient on the uh, the particle rendering uh, that we have that we have right here um, and what I did is actually I just copied the four color gradient mm -hmm. the changes that we did for the four color gradient on the master rendering and actually copy that onto the particle pass that we rendered out so that we make sure that the colors uh, stay consistent um, in the actual rendering another thing I also wanted to do is I duplicated the background of the master rendering uh, into basically uh, basically as this backdrop, this blur backdrop with the animation on it. Um, actually, what I'm going to do with that is uh, tone that down just a little bit more uh, with the opacity, and just put that down to like 10 instead of 15. Uh, going back up from the pre comp, um, I added a sharpen, uh, sharpen this, a sharpen to the um, Graphics, just so that the looks, so it just look like it pops just a little bit more better. Um, and the pre comp that I had on here, I'm actually going to. Um, what I had before was I had divide, but what I'm going to do is actually try out using an overlay um, on top of this, so you can see that. Um, let me see. Try to overlay, so I'm actually going to um, let's see here. Um, so I have to bring up the opacity a bit because uh, I had the opacity down. So I had a uh, divide on here before. Uh, I tried overlay. Um, just to get the glow pop a bit, but it's a little bit too bright, so I'm actually going to lower the opacity down a bit for that one to about 20, and just make sure everything looks crisp and nice, and you know, just make sure the graphics are that the graphics pop up pop out a little bit more better uh, than they did before. And go into my first pre comp. And what we'll do is actually rename the pre comp to um, Master Render. And we'll just do the same thing for the top one, but we'll just call that Master Render Adjustment. So everything looking a lot more crisper now. and colors are a lot more consistent so what I'm actually going to do is um, if you go to composition add to render queue uh, you can actually set up the render and 
um, for your After Effects project. And what I'm going to do is just make sure that the quality is on best. Um, I'm going to render it at full, which is 1200 by 375. I mean, it's pretty wide, pretty wide, uh, pretty wide rendering. And just make sure the format's on QuickTime. Um, I'll keep the video co codec at H264. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just render out, um, we'll render out the movie, uh, and we'll basically. Um, take a look at it and see how it looks. Um, so one of the other things that if you're having a problem rendering, uh, if you hold down caps lock, um, what it'll do is it'll pause the rendering that you, that is being previewed um, in your work in your workspace right here. Um, so if you have a problem like rendering stuff, uh, if you feel like things are getting slowed down, you know, press caps lock, it'll pause the video uh, while the actually movie's rendering. If you have a um, a pretty good fast machine and you're pretty confident on confident on that, you know, press caps lock just so you can preview of how it looks. You know, sometimes it's nice just to you know look back and forth and see um, the actual movie being rendered because you might maybe you might find a mistake or something like that. So from time to time, I like to just preview it a few frames. In case there's something I missed or something that just didn't that just didn't go well, so I'm gonna let this finish rendering. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna pause the video uh, just a bit, and I will come back and we'll look at the we'll look at the movie that we outputted. All right, um, so we had to pause the video a bit uh, while the uh, while the movie rendered out of After Effects. Um, so it took about like four minutes uh, to it to render. Uh, so let's actually take a look at the video we produced. So overall, um, I like how the colors are very consistent, um, very crisp, which I really like. Um, I mean, I love the uh, just seeing how how the edges look. Uh, really cool so far. Uh, the color correcting helped a lot, which is really good. So you know the, the graphics are a lot more crisper. It looks a lot more nicer. And I especially love how the graph, some of the, the the graphics overlap in the back. Um, so that looks really nice. I really like how I really like how that look. So you know, there's definitely a lot to look at. Um, and I think overall everything came out pretty cool so far. Um, so I mean, as far as the graphics are concerned, there's a lot of things you can also try. Um, you know, as far as just like working with cameras concerned, you know, you can take all this stuff, uh, and you know, you can have the camera move through these, you know, especially through these circles, and you know, get this whole new, this whole new, uh, this whole new world um, just by moving the camera angle a bit. So you know. It, Good way to good way to explore uh, different options uh, as far as cameras concerned, and far as far as you know, even the, the graphics uh, turn it on. You know, you could try different modifiers to you know build them on. Um, you know, there's a lot out there. There's a lot you can try. Um, you know, a lot of things you can do to you know make this more structured um, than it is in a 3D space. Um, so yeah, give it a shot and explore some of the some of the ways that you can uh, develop. Um, just this, this, this new, just this new way, and this, this new way of um, putting, bringing on these type of graphics and um, work with them and, and showing them off and stuff like that. So, a lot of things you can try. You know, especially as far as you know, as particle concerned. Uh, you know, you can also try uh, working with just a different. You know, just with the different um, um, uh, forces and stuff like that. Uh, and have the particles come on uh, differently than you, than uh, normal, than instead of just having them linear or stuff like that, um, you can have them come on a different way, or you can try using a um, a uh, different, maybe a different uh, force. Like you can try keeping the wind on, or you can try, you know, using the vortex and have them fly around uh, in different ways. So 
you know, there's a lot to there's a lot to try out, even with the particles. Um, so you know, it's good to uh, it's definitely good to explore uh, a lot of those options. So I mean, I think as far as the graphics concerned, I think everything worked nice. Um, so I'm happy with that. Uh, there's always still room for improvement. You know, try out different things. You can try out. Um, um, it just just different different w methods for transforming things on or you know but yeah I think overall um, everything came out really nice and definitely excited to um, go through some of this stuff um, and you know a lot of this again um, you know using this stuff to quickly develop something as a proof of concept you know it, it's really really cool um, and again it's all you know basic stuff not and really super complicated to try to uh, develop something this real quick um, so yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the um, demonstration uh, we definitely uh, went to a, went through a lot of particle stuff which is really cool so I hope you guys learned um, a few a few things um, as far as just creating the graphics and you know you can go from there and again try out again trying out different forces and stuff like that for the uh, particles or even trying out different shapes for the um, little particle particle lines that we created all right, so hope you guys had fun, and I'll probably see you again. All right, so enjoy, and that's it.